day in our life, boys and girls, we come across so many different things. And all these things are made up of different shapes, aren't they? Can you think of some basic shapes that you come across every day? Can you tell me at least four of them? Yeah, let's try. Circle, square, rectangle and triangle. That's right. These are called the basic shapes and we come across these shapes almost every day, right? Now let's look around our house and see if we can find few things that look like these shapes. Before that, let's look at the activity that's given in unit 4. Let's see in the page 78. Here we have an activity that says name the shapes of these common objects. The first one is a card, a playing card. What shape do you think it is? It is rectangle, that's correct. And the next one is a wall clock. What shape is that? It is a circle, you're correct. The third one, that is a credit card. What shape is that? It's a rectangle again. And here we have a CD. That's a circle, you're right. And the next one, it's a signboard. That's a rectangle? No. Is it a circle? No. That's a triangle. You're correct. And how about this door? Is that a square? No. It's a rectangle. And the last one, that's a chessboard. What shape is it? It is a square. Very good. Now, we're going to try another thing. Here, we're going to look at an image and this image is filled of different shapes. You have to count and see how many circles are there, how many triangles, how many squares and rectangles are there inside this picture. Shall we try and see if you can count? Here we go. See, this is the image. Can you see there are a lot of shapes in different colors and sizes? Let's see circle first. Let's count and see how many circles are hidden in this picture. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You're correct. We have 9 circles. Let's try triangle now. 1, 2, 3 and 4. We have 4 triangles. The third one is a square. Let's look at it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and the last one is a big orange square. So we have 8 squares. And let's look at rectangles now. Rectangles we have the blue one, 1, then the door, 2, and then the pink one, 3, and another pink one. And that makes how many rectangles? We have 4 rectangles. Very good. Now you can solve the activity that's given in the same page. You can color and learn more about these shapes. The next one we're going to learn is about solid shapes. Do you want to learn about them? Yes? Okay. So solid shapes are, we have cube and we have spear and we have cuboid and we have cylinder and we also have cone. So these are the solid shapes. We have five solid shapes. You want to look at how they are. I'm going to show you a few images, few things actually. And you have to guess and tell me whether they are a cube or a cuboid or a cone. All right, let's try the first one. Here, I have a small eraser. Can you tell me if this is a cube? No, this is a cuboid, right? Very good. Let's try this one. Here I have something special. What is this? It is a cone. You're right. Let's try another one. What shape is this? What do you think it is? It looks like a cuboid, right? You're correct. And here I have another one. What shape is this? This is a cube. You're right. How about we try this one? What is this? This is a cylinder. 
right and now I have one last one what shape is this ball is this a spear very good so you learned about solid shapes right so let's try and see if you can look at the activity that's given in the book and solve them. Let's try the first one. Name the solid shapes of the objects given below. This is in page 81. And here we have orange, we have a cricket ball and a football. What shape do you think they are? They are spear, that's correct. And now we have a cupboard. We have matchstick box, we have a razor like what I showed you. So what shape are they? The solid shape is a cuboid. Now we have a bottle, a battery and a gas cylinder. So that's why we call it a cylinder, right? Because it's in a cylindrical shape, a gas cylinder. Now the last one, we have a birthday hat and then we have a fire cracker. And then we have an ice cream cone. So that's why we call it an ice cream cone because it's in the shape of a cone, right? Now, there are more activities given for us in the book. You can go ahead and color. They have asked you if you see a spear, you need to color that. Or if it is a cube, you need to figure out which one looks like a cube and then color them. Let's do some more things that we come across every day in our life. Let's see in this activity if you can identify which solid shape they belong to. Okay? So here in page 83, let's circle the shape of each object. Okay? The first two are already done for us. So here this one looks like a cylinder. And the next one, it's a cuboid. And the last one here in this page is a cube. That's a soap, I think. It looks like a cube. No, it looks like a cuboid. You're right. The next one, it's a carrot. What shape do you think it looks like? It's a cone, right? And here we have a toy. This looks like a cube. And apple. It looks like a spear. We have an ice cream here. That's a cone ice cream. So we can circle cone. The next one is a pen. That looks like a cylinder. And we have orange here. Orange is a spear. And the next one is a bucket. So this one looks like a cylinder. And we have another matchbox. And that looks like a cuboid. We have a bell which looks like a cone and then we have a mug which looks like a cylinder and a football we had learnt it before it's a spear and the last one the oil box and that looks like a cuboid very good now every time you come across different things in your houses or things around you try to name them okay you look and see if they are a, they, that looks like a triangle or if it looks like a cone and you can tell your parents how it looks like. So wasn't it fun to learn about different shapes? Thank you so much and see you soon. Mm -hmm.